When did I first meet John Montague? <laughs> well, it would be impossible to forget. He was a bit of an interloper at my home course, Lakeside Golf Club. I wasn't prepared for what old Johnny could do with a golf club. With my own eyes, I saw him point to a telephone wire with a line of birds sitting on it and betting folks claiming, I'll get that one on the right. Birds must have been 150, no, 175 yards out. John takes out his club. Bingo. <laughs> now, I've seen a lot of celebrities in my day. But no one loved rubbing elbows with big shots more than John Montague. The man lived with Oliver Hardy. Oh, lifted Johnny Weissmuller. You know, the guy who played Tarzan, for goodness sake. He hung around with Howard Hughes and Humphrey Bogart. But of course, his number one pal was always Bing Crosby. One day, John says, Bing, I could beat you with a baseball bat, a shovel, and a rake. Pride or curiosity got the best of me, because I said, well, I got to see that. So he goes to the trunk of his car, which, by the way, should have been a red flag, because who keeps a baseball bat, a shovel, and a rake in the trunk of their car? But sure enough, he tees off with the bat, smashes it over 300 yards into a bunker by the green, grabs the shovel, plops it out right onto the dance floor, and the rake? Flips it over like a pool cue, and I'll be damned, he sinks it. His birdie beat my par. I actually first heard that story from, of all people, Bobby Jones. Crosby once tried to set up a challenge match between Jones and Montague. Montague turned it down. In fact, he never wanted any publicity at all, and refused to ever get his picture taken. Didn't want the notoriety, he said. In 1933, I played with him down the road at Riviera. Needed a par on the 18th to shoot 61, a course record. But the big fella turned and whacked it deep into the woods on purpose. Then told his caddy he'd had enough and walked right off the golf course. Still, I'm a writer, and I know a good story when I see one. So I did what writers do. I wrote. I've played several rounds with John Montague, and I'll take him as an even bet against any golfer you can name over a championship course. John's reputation was spreading like wildfire by that point. Time Magazine even hired a photographer to track him down. Hid in the bushes at the club, and finally got the shot he came for. Damn paparazzi have always been a problem in this town. He drove a golf ball 50 yards farther than Bobby Jones. He is built like a wrestler with tremendous hands. Bulldog shoulders, biceps as big as Jack Dempsey's. His face is handsome. A mysterious denizen of Hollywood who called himself John Montague. <laughs> None of the golf stuff really blew me away. But this picture, this was not John Montague. It was Laverne Moore back in 1930. This guy who ran a roadside speakeasy in the Adirondacks. He was closing up shop for the night. These four guys armed with guns turn up and hold up the joint. They steal all the cash and speed off in two separate cars. Then there's an all-out chase. The suspects crash the first car. The driver of that car actually dies in the wreck. But we were able to catch two of the other guys. But the fourth guy, he gets away, disappears. The only other clues we had left to go on were left in one of the getaway cars. First, a driver's license issued to Laverne Moore, who looked an awful lot like this John Montague fella. And in the trunk of the car, a set of golf clubs. I knew as soon as I saw the Time magazine, after seven years of waiting, we had our guy. The police compared Laverne Moore's fingerprints with Montague's out in Los Angeles. Perfect match. He was arrested, went to trial, but somehow got off scot-free. Not guilty. He celebrated by going out on the town with Joe DiMaggio. He played golf with Babe Ruth. 
Ironically, the publicity from his trial finally made him the celebrity we all thought he should have been from the start. For a while, at least. I heard his game fizzled out. Couldn't handle the notoriety or pressure, I guess. Happens to the best of us out here. I haven't seen John in a while. And yeah, he'll always be John to me, not Laverne. Even though his mama did name him that. <laughs> hey, look. A lot of people change their name who move out here. It's like a saying I once heard. Hollywood is a place where half the people who come out here are dying to be discovered, and the other half are afraid they will be. My old friend John Montague was a lot of both. 